So I've just got ready now and I'm about to head out and face the morning commute. Later today I'm going to do my makeup and everything and meet a couple of friends uh, for a drink. These friends I also, they're, one of them is my ex-colleague and one of them I work with already uh, at, this, at this current moment in time. Um, I'm not going to show my friends too much in these vlogs just because not everybody knows that I'm vlogging. I'm keeping it more private, like my close family and friends know but not kind of the wider world. Um, and then after we've had drinks, and I'll show you where we go because we've booked a place and it's pretty nice. After we've had a drink, I'm going to go and meet Andrew because he's about to leave on his stag do tomorrow. So I want to see him before he leaves. Uh, I've told them no strippers. So hopefully his friends are sensible and remember my request. finished up at work now and I've got ready and I am now on my way to Embankment with a friend of mine to meet some of my other friend for drinks. So I'm on the train to Andrews now. I had a really nice meal with my friends, had a really good catch up, and now I'm just looking forward to seeing Andrew and catching up with him as well, just before he leaves to go on his stag do. Hey guys, I'm back home now. I'm really tired today, so I'm not gonna do much this evening. I've just downloaded the film Solaris on Amazon Prime, and I'm gonna spend my evening watching that. It's almost three hours long. So um, that's going to take up the rest of the evening and I will catch up with you guys all tomorrow. Bye! Hey guys, I'm at John's office. John's my best friend. I'm here to, we're here to pick up some stuff that we need to cut my wedding invitations to size. So after we've done that, we're going to go to my office where the actual cutting will take place and I'll vlog that. So guys, look at what's happened. We are now locked in and um, I don't want to blame John, but I do blame him because he's always like this. He's really bad with families and we're locked in his office. So he's trying to find a key to managed to get us out, but otherwise we're stuck here all night and then uh, you'll see me tomorrow. <laughs> so guys, he's, we found a method of escape, i.e. a key. So we're trying to unlock ourselves and hopefully we'll make it to freedom soon. Okay, so the key hasn't worked and now John wants to go down the lift shaft, like we're in kind of some Mission Impossible film. I'm gonna go and have a look at the lift shaft first before I commit to going down this lift shaft. But honestly, like, this is mine and John's friendship in a nutshell. Okay, this is a lift shaft. And it looks really scary. And also, it's got a sign that says people are not allowed. So, I mean, what the hell? I don't know if I'm going to go for it. I'll update you. Okay, so slight change of plans. We weren't able to push the button on the kind of lift shaft thing. So we can't do that. We're actually trapped. Instead of focusing on the fact that we're trapped, we've decided to work on the wedding invites and then try and uh, break out by dismantling the door right at the end of tonight. I'm having a quick snack. I'm having Cheeto Puffs and Diet Lemonade. It's a good thing that this office comes well stocked. Right guys, so the first one is done. It was difficult. It was a lot of like back and forth, a lot of cutting, a lot of me moaning at John being like, oh my God, it's not right. But we finally managed it. So this is our first wedding invite done. So this is the mess of our workstation. Um, so these are all the invites that we've done so far. Okay guys, so we've been here for three and a half hours now. And I think we've got an escape plan. So the reason why we didn't use the crazy lift shaft was because we couldn't operate it from upstairs. We could only have like the going down button, but now we've got a plan. Well, John's cracked it. He thinks one person goes down and then operates the lift for the next person who 
can come down as well so that's the plan i don't know if that's made sense so basically from where we are right now we can only press down so if me and john were in the lift together we could only go oh i don't that doesn't make sense no, what am i trying we, to say we can't press the button Oh, we can't press the button. If we both go into the lift together, we can't press the button to go downstairs. So one of us will have to stay up here and press the button so that somebody can go down. And the person who manages to go down has to operate the lift for the person who's stuck upstairs. I think now that makes sense. So we're, that's our escape plan. So you shall see if we make it. John's gone downstairs, but we are now stuck between the lifts and the front door which cannot be opened from this side. So he's trying to continue to escape by using a pen to try and unlock the front door. So he's gone downstairs with a pen and um, we're just gonna ask if he's having any success. John, are you trying the pen? John? John? Yeah. Was the pen successful? Yeah. The pen was successful, oh my God, we might be able to get out of here. Scottish guy, Braveheart. Hey guys, so it's the next morning. Um, we came home at 4 a.m. No, actually we made our escape at 4 a.m. and I got home at 5 a.m. So I've got up, got ready. I'm gonna go out with my cousin today. We were meant to go to Bryson, but it is chucking it down. So we've decided to scrap the plan and go into central London instead and spend the day in central London with her family um, who are visiting. Like if you've been watching my last vlog, you know that they're visiting from Australia. So we're going to go to the British um, Museum and then we're gonna go to Harrods, do a bit of shopping and then maybe Chinatown as well for, for dinner. pounds I think I'll put that back hey guys so it's about half past ten at night we didn't um, really do much after we went to the British Museum my cousins went off because they had like another in invitation to go to for dinner and then we just came home I actually caught a bit of a cold had an M sip I had went to sleep and I've actually woke up because my throat was hurting so much which is really annoying, like, so I'm just gonna have another lem sip now and go to bed and I'm just gonna fight through the cold. I always go to work anyway, even if I have a cold, I just fight through it because it's just a, it's just a cold, but it's just annoying because I'm gonna feel like rubbish all, all of tomorrow. But anyway, I thought I would just check in, let you know what I'm up to. And I'm gonna go to bed in a bit, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Lem sip time. Hey guys, so I'm still feeling extremely unwell. I've loaded myself up with Lemsips and Paracetamol and I've finished work and everything, but now I'm back on my way in to central London to meet up with John to finish off my wedding invitations because there's still three or four more to go and I still need to print off our labels, but I cannot wait to get home. I wanna crawl into bed and try and sleep off this cold. Right guys, that's the... Sorry. It's okay, John. Right guys, that's the that's the final ones, final invites all done. And yeah, like, thank God, that was epic. It was an epic mission to get these invites done. On the way home, we saw the famous Oxford Street Christmas lights being installed. So I pulled out my vlog camera and thought I'd shoot some footage to share. Hey guys, so I've just finished up work now and I'm going to meet my sister and we're going to head to John Lewis because I'm going to buy some wedding makeup for myself. Um, I'm a little bit like, ugh, because I don't want to spend too much money, but the things that I have my eyes on are fairly expensive, but I've hit pan on so many things that it's time to replenish the supplies. Hey guys, so this is my little haul and everything that I bought. I bought this Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. 
it's really nice um i don't know i can't remember if i told you but i actually got a sample in a magazine and it was just a perfect match for me and such a perfect fit so i was just like yeah i definitely want this um and then i got a dior addict lipstick um this is really nice um it's pretty expensive though i think this lipstick is like 29 pounds it came to 29 pounds and i was just like whoa that's really expensive to the girl and she was saying how they increase their prices by three pounds every year so apparently last year it was 26 and now it's 29 which i think that's really steep for a lipstick so i don't know if i'll be repurchasing because you know that for me it's just a little bit too much I bought this beach stick from Charlotte Tilbury and the blush that I wanted was actually um, from Chanel but they've discontinued it. I'm going to try and open it. So this is the colour. Um, it's nice. It's not exactly what I wanted but you know beggars can't be choosers. And then I'm not going to try and put it back in one handed. I don't want to ruin it. And then here is a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow that I got. It's called Lux Rich Metal. I can't remember. I'm not sure exactly what the colour is. Is it the here? Maybe it is called Lux Rich Metal. Oh, Melting Point. It's called Melting Point. And this is what it looks like. So I've swatched it and actually applied it once already. That's why it's not perfect. But yes, that's the colour that I'm going to wear. It's actually very, very subtle. Um, but that's kind of the star that I'm going for at, at the wedding. Because it's really all about the dress. So yeah, that's my little haul. Um, sorry about my thumb there. Uh, that's my little haul. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this week with me and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye!